we will now consider an RC circuit example with a step input which is not zero. Okay. Let me make the circuit slightly more complicated by having two resistors and a capacitor here. Okay. This is still nonetheless very, very easy. So, let us say this is 2 kilo ohm and this is 3 kilo ohm resistor and this steps from 0 to 10 volts at t equals 0 and we have a capacitance which is let us say 10 nanofarads. Okay. Now, though we have two resistors, this can be effectively reduced to a single voltage source in series with a single resistor at the terminals of the capacitor using the familiar Thevenin equivalent. Okay. So, if these are 1 1 prime and whatever I have on this side, I change to Thevenin equivalent. I will not show the steps, but you can work this out for yourselves. I will have some V s in series with a resistance. The resistance happens to be the parallel combination of these two okay. and that will be 2 kilo ohms times 3 kilo ohms divided by 5 kilo ohms, which is basically 1.2 kilo ohms. And this V s you can again compute by the usual procedures used for Thevenin equivalent calculations. It will jump from 0 volts to 6 volts at t equals 0. So, please do the Thevenin equivalent calculation yourselves and we have a capacitor which is 10 nanofarads. Okay. So, this is now the familiar circuit. Now, whatever initial condition is there on the capacitor will still remain. So, let me say that the initial condition is 1 volt. Okay, it happens to be there at t equal to 0 just before the step is applied this has 1 volt and in this circuit the capacitor is in series with the resistor and we cannot have infinite uh, current through the capacitor which will induce a step change. So, the voltage across the capacitor will be continuous and even after the step is applied we will have 1 volt. Okay. So, we have calculated all of these things in uh, general terms. So, this means that we see just after the step V c of 0 plus is also 1 volt. Now, we know the general form of the solution you can do this in uh, many many ways. So, V c of 0 plus is 1 volt this is because of uh, continuity and no infinite currents. Okay. Then V c of infinity which is the final value is computed by assuming that the capacitor is an open circuit. If this is an open circuit then the resistance here it does not have any voltage drop across it. So, all of V s appears between the terminals 1 and 1 prime okay. and V s the final value is 6 volts. The 6 volts will appear there. Okay. and the time constant tau of course, is if you set V s to 0, we will have this R T h across the capacitor. So, it is 10 nanofarad times 1.2 kilo ohms it is 12 microseconds. Okay. So, we can easily write out the expression right. We know that V c of t is V c of infinity plus V c of 0 minus V c of infinity exponential minus t by tau which is 6 volts plus the initial value 1 volt minus 6 volts exponential minus t by 12 microseconds which is 6 volts minus 5 volts exponential minus t by 12 microseconds. 
Okay, so that's the expression for it, and you can do this in uh, many many uh, ways. Basically, the point is to be able to identify the time constant and the initial and final values. Okay, now even if you didn't reduce it to the Thevenin equivalent, you had this circuit and wrote the differential equation for this circuit, you would get exactly the same answer and exactly the same differential equation, of course, in terms of the capacitor voltage V C. Okay. And instead of uh, Thevenin equivalent, you could have converted it to a Norton equivalent. Okay, so again, I'm not going to uh, show how to convert it to Norton equivalent that you already know from uh, earlier lessons. So the Norton equivalent, let me put down the original circuit. This steps from zero to ten volt. Okay, so now if uh, there is a step change in the voltage source in an independent source in the circuit. Then the Thevenin voltage or the Norton current can also show the same step change. Okay, so we had this is let's say V i and it changed from zero to ten volts, and we have two kilo ohms and three kilo ohms, and across these terminals we have the capacitor C, which is ten nanofarad. Then the Norton equivalent of this part of the circuit will be the current which is the short circuit current and it will jump from 0 to 5 milliamps at t equal 0. Across it we will have a Norton resistance which is the same as the Thevenin resistance and equals 1.2 kilo ohms. And we have a 10 nanofarad capacitor across it. Okay. So, now again it is uh, quite easy to solve, this gives you a slightly different viewpoint. Now, what happens is that again let us assume that V c of 0 minus is 1 volt and we do not have infinite currents flowing through the capacitor. So, V C of 0 plus will also be 1 volt. Okay. So, I will show this as a sketch. So, at t equal to 0 minus and 0 plus we will have 1 volt. Okay. Now, what happens is because we have 1 volt over here and 1.2 kilo ohms. So, a certain current is taken away by the resistor okay, and that will be equal to 1 volt by 1.2 kilo ohms. The remaining current 5 milliamps minus 1 volt by 1.2 kilo ohms. Okay. So, that will flow through the capacitor just after T equals 0 and that will make the capacitor voltage become larger and larger as the capacitor voltage increases more current flows into the resistor eventually very little current flows into the capacitor all of it flows into the resistor most of it. So, the rate of change of capacitor voltage becomes slower and slower and slower and at t equals infinity all of this current 5 milliamps will be flowing through the resistor producing 6 volts across it and no current will be flowing through the capacitor which means that its voltage will be stable at 6 volts. Okay. So, it starts from 1 volt and reaches 6 volts okay and the equation will be exactly the same as before of course it will be six volts minus five volts exponential minus t by tau if you set the independent source to 0, we just have 1.2 kilo ohms across 10 nanofarad which is 12 microseconds and in fact, we have to get exactly the same answer as before otherwise we would be in trouble. Okay. So, that is the expression for it and this slope again you can calculate from the initial current flowing through the capacitor because the slope of capacitor voltage is related to its current or you can find it out by differentiating this expression. Okay.